actually can't wait to put this on my door. Don't peek then. Open <laughs> it! Ah, open it! That's not what I expected. <laughs> It's very obvious I have a boyfriend now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited. I feel like I'm going down memory lane doing this, honestly. I'm actually, well, I've never hosted my own gym. Well, I have actually. I hosted my own Gymshark Run Club event, but never my own Gymshark event in store. And with Libby, my hey, biggest hey. number one supporter that comes everywhere. <laughs> I was like, the only girl that's going to show up. Um, <laughs> but no, that's so. Hosting, Wendy. Wendy's Imogen. coming. Imogen's All coming. Us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hosted my own Gymshark event today, which is so weird because I don't do things like this anymore. Uh, this really reminds me of like old YouTube days. It's exciting. Like, I used to do things like this all the time. Um, but yeah, exciting. So we're doing a bum. So it's like bums and thumbs basically. Mm -hmm. It's abs and booty. Oh. The tickets sold out so quickly, which is like madness. So thank you so much everyone that's coming. I'm so excited. I'm getting a million missed calls. We actually need to leave Asa. Got this huge suitcase because I'm away for the weekend. That's that basically. Oh. Very excited. I just told my mum it was a two hour class. You should have seen her reaction. She was like, no. I can't do that. No, you, I can't do that. Oh no, I can't come then. I can't come then. I'm not fit enough for a two hour class. I was like, mum, don't worry. It's not really. It's only an hour and a half. It's not even an hour and a half. I'm just winding her up basically. So yeah, so excited. Can't wait to see you all. It's going to be so fun. Also, I've got so much with me because I couldn't decide what to wear because the Gymshark, um, because the Gymshark Black Friday sale is actually happening. And and I'm going to pop the date on screen. The Gymshark Black Friday sale is actually madness. And on top of that, you can also use my discount code SAF for an extra 10% off. So like crazy. Everything we're wearing will be in the sale. Okay, we need to go. Oh my goodness. So this is the setup. So yeah. excited. Oh, sorry. Oh God, I've got to get a mic on. I don't know if this is good, huh? It's Britney, bitch. She's living the pop star dream. I really am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We can see growth, they tell me they free, but they work for the man. I can't relate, I did it on my own. Look how we grow out the concrete, two rows, stuck by the code. Kush got me back on the float. I'm really trying, my heart is restraining and masculine urge to show up and glow on these boys. Don't tell me I won't. Can't nobody see me. I've been on dope time, and to be honest, it's not even close. Your favorite is faking his streams, he a me, me not what he show. But what do I know? All them thoughts that you have, even yours I'm paying my pain over course, fuck a reward I'm earning my stripes, I give it a pipe, I'm generous I say how I feel, I go where I grow Don't tell me that love is for me I'm here on my own, I'm feeding my soul Been by the code, you know how I be I am a product, I put in my curses to rest on my family tree Can see growth, they tell me they free, but they work for the man I can't relate, I did it on my own Look how we grow out the concrete Hello everyone, jumping on here, not gonna lie, a couple of days later, I feel like this vlog is probably gonna be a bit bitty and I do apologize. I've been away, like when I've been going away, I, well, I went away this weekend and I didn't vlog it. Um, I had my Gymshark event on the Saturday and now it's the Monday. So I'm so sorry, like a day or so has passed, but I just wanted to jump on here and just say thank you so much to everyone that came to my Gymshark event because I've even just been watching the footage and like, I just can't even tell you how grateful I am for everyone that watches my videos and just shows me so much love and support like throughout the years honestly I feel so truly blessed and I was just so nervous to do that event I can't even tell you I know there wasn't like that many people but I was just so nervous because it was like my first time running a class like that but you guys know like the love and the passion that I have for fitness and for Gymshark so it was just such like a I don't know it was such like a pin to be moment I honestly loved every single minute of it and so I definitely definitely want to do more if you guys want to see me do more or definitely let me know in the comments. I will always do the links and stuff on Instagram because it will probably sell out straight away. So by the time, if you guys are just like watching my videos, you might miss out on the ticket. So definitely go and follow my Instagram if you don't already. Also felt like it was a perfect time to say that the Black Friday sale, by the time this goes live, it should be live. And the Black Friday sale is going to be incredible. I mean, I 
I'm not even joking. When I was a little girl, I say little girl, actually, I'm such, not a little girl, but when I was like 14, 15, I used to set my alarm. I used to save money for the Gymshark sale because the Gymshark sale was always, in my eyes, the best sale of the year. Even to this day, I still think it is one of the best sales of all time. There's up to 70% off this year, which is crazy. And then on top of that, everything that's in the sale, on top of that, you can actually get 10% off with my code SAF. You can actually use my code all year round. I know I kind of mentioned this at the, the beginning, of this video but yeah like it's just insane so if you want to get your hand on any Gymshark definitely go and do so I will actually pop up some pictures of like some new bits that I got recently and I will leave like all the discounts of how much all of these pieces have off these are some of my favorite pieces I got recently that you guys can get in the sale I spoke about in a TikTok and stuff as well I'm sure you guys would have seen yeah it's actually madness so definitely definitely go and check that out what am I doing for the rest of the day I don't even know I have a lot of like meetings that I need to do just errands and stuff that I need to run wow you doing some sit-ups Lake is so strong. Look at Lake. I keep telling him he needs to be careful because he's going to probably... I don't want him to drop it on his feet. But look at him, Mr. Muscle Man. Harlow can do it too, can't you? I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> They're telling me they love exercising. Don't know why you guys haven't got Gymshark on them, really. Good going, though. Watch this. Woohoo! Be careful, though. What is this one? That is amazing. Is it's so it, strong. What's this one? Well, that's for your legs. Can I do that one? I don't think your legs will reach. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Wait, let me help you. That is pretty heavy. <sighs> so, current situation, my parents have just come over. My dad is up in the loft right now because they're actually helping me get out my Christmas decorations. <laughs> and these little ones here. Hello. Hello. Have you got sweaty hair? Uh, it's all sweaty when she's had a hat on. Is it starting to feel like Christmas? Is it? It's going to. It's going to. Hey. <laughs> you just had a very good question. What was your question? Um, uh, About the tree. We can't fit the doll. We can't. Me and you are too small. Both of us. So what are we going to do? I... <laughs> oh. 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 See? Mom, you're going to get your clothes all right out then. Oh, We've got yeah. dad, dad, don't drop it. Okay, oh my goodness, we've got decorations and too many okay. kids. Right, I reckon let's move out of the way. Wait, be careful of Remy. Let's move out of the way. There's too many Who's decorations. Hello, Santa up here. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, oh, God, just hit exactly. my head. Wow. Oh, right, you're trying to lift this. Yeah, there was two of us that did this. I'm really weak today. I got no energy. Right. Wait, no, that's not going to fit through there. It will. It go, it's it got to go round there, then it's under. Not it's not, just that's what it, we did. That's what we did. Just put it through there, please. Oh, men are just so difficult, aren't they? Men? <laughs> oh, my God, how am I going to get this tree down? So this is the current situation. We're that's sat in the cinema the room. Hello, say hello to my vlog. <laughs> and Lake, he's down here. Hi, Lake. You say hi to my vlog. Say hi, everyone. That's your dirty tiara. No, it's not Why fitting it. Um, anyways, we're sat watching. What is this called, Harlow? I'm your biggest fan. What's it called? Oh, Sophia? Sophia Princesses. Why are you acting all shy for? You're going to be an actress. I'm just shy to say the word. Okay. Oh my goodness, guys. I just treated myself, got myself a takeaway. Well, it is a takeaway, but it's just from a restaurant I absolutely love. I love this restaurant. It basically is like all little dishes. I got a chicken sheesh. Um, although, I've got more than what I've ordered, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but I don't actually think this is what I've ordered, because I get this all the time and it doesn't come in this size. Oh, it is. Oh, yay. So I've got chicken, and then I've got broccoli. I literally can't do this with one hand. They're potatoes. Oh, oh, I wish you, I wish I was smell a vision right now, because, oh my goodness. No, when I tell you, it is so freaking good. I swear, this restaurant is just 10-10, so... This is what I'm treating myself to. It is, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. If you like broccoli, you would just love, I know it actually sounds ridiculous because it's broccoli and I know it's bad and people probably think I sound ridiculous, but it's the nicest broccoli I think I've ever had. It's, oh, it's just 10, 10. Gonna put this on a plate, put it on my story and pretend I've made it. <laughs> no. Gonna have this, watch something in the cinema and just have like a really nice, a nice chilled evening to a really, really good day. Um, run myself a bath. Um, yeah, really all of that good stuff, I guess. Good morning, everyone. I am up bright and early 
early getting ready to film a podcast this morning. So it's a Wednesday. Myself and Anastasia, we film our podcast every Wednesday and then they get uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, they need some time to like turn around the podcast because obviously, yeah, we're not together. So they have to edit our video and everything like that. Also, we film twice a week now. No, we film once, but we have two different episodes that go live in a week, every Tuesday and Thursday. I literally just said that. I literally just said that, then I made it more confusing for myself. But yeah, I'm about to go film an episode with Anna and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so nervous for this episode. I don't know, well, I do know, of course I know why actually. My life has changed a lot in the last couple of weeks. And it's crazy because I did actually post on my, oh God, I was watching a YouTube video. I was watching Mary, if you don't know who she is. Oh my God, she's actually so beautiful. I can't even deal and I just, I've never met her, but I love her. Um, anyways. I did in fact post on my Instagram. It's very obvious, I have a boyfriend now. <laughs> I even just felt awkward about talking about it in this vlog. Like I know that's silly because I literally vlog my life, but I feel like it's been a long time coming. And with me having the podcast and stuff, I talk a lot about my love life. And it's actually so lovely because so many of you for so long have been like rooting for me to get a boyfriend. And like, you know, you've heard about all the amazing dates I've gone on, all the awful dates I've gone on. And yeah, it's just, I don't know why I'm just, I just feel awkward and nervous to talk about it. And I'm gonna have to do that on today's podcast episode. To give you some context, by the way, everyone's like, where did this come from? Which obviously I will explain on the podcast. And at some point, I'll probably just do a video of Lewis where we talk about like how we actually met and stuff and like the ins and outs and everything else, as well as talking about it on my podcast. Cause I feel like it'd be good, obviously like from his point of view and stuff as well. But everyone's like, where did this come from? Because we listened to the pod and like, you've never mentioned it and blah, blah, blah. To give you some context, Text. The podcast is obviously, it's not in real time because they have to edit the videos, especially with us not being together, meaning like myself and Anna. So it's never gonna be completely in real time. You're always gonna be about two weeks behind. Nonetheless, you still hear about our love lives on that before you hear about it on anything else. So yeah, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm excited because I'm gonna have to talk about it today. In the last episode that went live, I was talking about a mystery man that I was going away with and I was like, well, that wasn't a mystery for very long, was it at all? But yeah, so to give you some context, filming that episode today, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for it, but especially because I just feel like Anna's gonna like grill me. <laughs> Honestly, the podcast episodes are genuinely hand on my heart, like mine and Anna's catch ups. Like that is how we catch up now because we have a weekly podcast episode. That's like when we find out everything about each other's love lives, like for the first time. Like we don't want to talk about it until like we're actually on the podcast so like we can actually get our first reactions. So I know she's gonna be asking me a million questions because she doesn't really know the answers herself. So yeah, anyways, this morning I'm doing that. But yeah, like I said, I will talk about it in another video, just maybe not yet. Maybe just give me a little bit of time because I don't know, it's scary. I wasn't even gonna talk about it, but obviously I have to because of the podcast. But it's just scary because I know that everyone has their own opinion and it's actually so lovely because like I said, so many of you have rooted for me for the longest time and like the amount of like kind messages I've got is just like the best thing in the world. Of course, there's a lot of not kind messages, but there's also a lot of just lovely, lovely messages and I'm just so, so grateful. Anyways, oh my God, I just used this concealer by the way. This was like my childhood concealer, this Maybelline eraser concealer. I just used it for like the first time in, honestly, I don't even think I've used it since like high school. And it is, sorry, when I say high school, by the way, everyone always has a go at me like, why are you trying to be American? My school, I can't say the name of my school. Well, I probably can say the name of my school. Yeah, I can say. My school was called Long Hill and it was called Long Hill High School. So I've always called secondary school, high school. Like I just never knew any different until everyone was like, oh my God, why is she trying to be American? And I'm like, what? I just think where I live in Brighton as well, everyone calls it high school. I don't know a single person that calls it secondary school. But um, anyways, yeah, that was the concealer that I used back then and I haven't used it in years. And I honestly don't know why, because it is such a good concealer, such good value for money. Like I always get asked as well, like what are my favorite drugstore recommendations? And that concealer is 100% up there alongside this mascara. Oh my goodness. The first time I used this, I did a, um, I like was sponsored by them. So obviously I always test out things before like I work with them. And I literally mentioned them back and I was like, the best mascara I have ever used. This is the Max Factor 2-in-1. I feel like it's genuinely not going to focus right now, which we love. If I even got it the right way around, I don't even know. Anyways, 
you get the point. This, you know what it is. Max Factor 2-in-1 Lash Wow Mascara. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how amazing it is. My best friend uses that mascara as well. It's so good because you twist it and there's like two different ends. And so it's either like lengthening or thickening. But like, it actually works. It is so, so good. Oh my God, also, do you know another thing I'm so excited about? I went Christmas shopping the other day with my mum and bought loads of decorations for my house. And honestly, I genuinely think I'm going to be putting up my Christmas tree this week. And we're in November, the very beginning of November. I just, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited for Christmas this year. You have no idea. Like I genuinely can't wait. And last year, although I did decorate my house for Christmas, I just feel like I still left everything so last minute and I didn't decorate it. Not how I wanted to. I loved my tree actually. I've got such an itchy nose. I hate that when you get an itchy nose and you're doing your makeup and then you just take all the makeup off of your nose. Like actually worst thing ever. But I just don't think I went as over the top as I would have loved to. Like I want more than one, like I'm gonna have two Christmas trees this year, which I said I was gonna do last year and I didn't. And I actually am gonna do that this year um, because I have a massive like window that like looks out of my house and you can see the view and stuff and like if you're driving past my house you would see my Christmas tree so it'd look amazing and honestly I think I could have like a 10 foot tree there it's just a massive area I've never actually really been able to show you because you would basically see where I live like from where the window looks out of but once my Christmas tree's there then obviously I'll be able to show you but yeah so the Christmas so I basically think I'm gonna get two Christmas trees this year I bought like wreaths and stuff that I'm gonna put like even on my gates outside my house oh my god I bought the nicest wreath for my like front door as well I'm so excited also literally got all of this sorry I don't know why I'm getting so excited but I literally got all of this from HomeSense and HomeSense I swear is just the best shop ever when it comes to Christmas decorations like go if you're watching this go as soon as you can because me and my mum went a couple of weeks before and like even like within the matter of two weeks it was nowhere near as good it was still amazing but nowhere near as good because I just feel like everyone that goes to home sense goes there early for Christmas decorations obviously they don't have multiple stock of the same things that's not really what home sense is so if you find something you're kind of just lucky to find it so if you have the opportunity to go to a home sense definitely go because they just have the best Christmas decorations and it's so affordable I got my Christmas baubles from B&Q they were like how much were they each I think they were like five pounds each then I got some from HomeSense and they were literally like two pounds each basically HomeSense is just so much more affordable even like the wreath that I got like the wreath that I got from HomeSense was huge and it's oh my god it's so nice I'll show you I'm gonna haul you everything after I've done my podcast but then when I was in b and I was looking at the wreaths there and they were like half the size and double the price so definitely definitely go to home sense because they have such amazing things and like such good value for money so that's where I got most of my things but then also I did go to B&Q because the color theme that I've decided that I'm gonna do this year is actually burgundy I feel like it doesn't sound very nice it's basically just like a deep red I really have always wanted to do red I say always I've literally only had this house for two years now but I love what I did last year but I just think something about just classic red and green I just love it so so much and so I wanted to do that but then I saw this tree oh my god there's this page on Instagram and it's I'm gonna pop up the page oh my goodness this guy like obviously he costs a lot I imagine he costs a lot of money but he designs like Christmas trees and stuff for basically wealthy celebrities etc etc and I saw this burgundy tree and I was like I want to recreate that it is incredible and so basically this is my goal to do something like this and so I found these burgundy like suede baubles from B&Q and they're so nice um so that's why I went and got some of my decorations from B&Q and I think that's literally all that I went to yeah that's all I've got so far um I'm gonna go to the garden center near me today as well and have a look and see if they have anything but because I'm, I'm happy now I've actually chosen my color theme because my mum kept saying to me she was like you have to choose your color theme before you go otherwise you're just going to end up like wanting three different color themes and then just buying random things and you're just going to have a huge mi mix match basically so yeah i've decided that's what i'm going for saying that my colorful tree i'm not wasting the decorations or the tree so i actually i'm going to also put that upstairs but just like separately so it's not part of the theme throughout this episode we've obviously spoken about you being single um but i guess like just like a round up for the episode just to leave it on a positive note what would you say is like the best 
three to five things about being single. Okay, I just jumped off the podcast. I'm not gonna lie, I think you guys are gonna very much enjoy this one because I think I've actually answered every question that's ever been answered about my relationship. So yeah, definitely go and listen to that if you haven't already. In fact, actually saying that, it won't be live. Yeah, like I said, it won't be live yet. But as soon as it's live, I mean, I always post the clips and stuff on my Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram, you won't miss the episode. But yeah, I think I actually answered absolutely every single question there so there really is the exclusive but anyways i said that i would show you my christmas decorations that i bought so i did in fact i did actually buy a lot right i've got three different wreaths like i'm not joking when i say i have a lot so i got these two wreaths for my gate so they're both going to go on the gate which i think is going to look so nice oh my god they're all good oh my god i've got four i forgot about that right so these two are going to go on the gate and then basically i bought this wreath because this was not too much money. Um, I think it was, how much was it? Okay, so this roof was 20 pounds, which I mean, obviously it's not like really cheap, but it's not really expensive either. But I thought if I bought all of these red berries separately, I, it would probably cost more than 20 pounds for this much, because there's quite a lot there. And basically, because I want my theme to be red this year, I'm gonna put these berries onto these wreaths. So they have red in it, but the reason I got them is just because I love, I don't know if you can see up close, all of like the glitter and snow, but actually they light up. So yeah, these are gonna look so nice. And a little DIY project for me there, which I'm actually not very good at whatsoever, but I'm hoping with the help of my mum, I'll be able to do it. And then I also bought this wreath, and this is the one that's gonna go on my front door, and I love it so much. And again, I would love this one to light up. This one doesn't light up. So I think I'm gonna get some little lights and like thread it through, but I actually can't wait to put this on my door. Last year, I didn't even have a wreath on my door, and I have such a nice front door. And then these are the decorations that I got. Okay. <laughs> So, oh my God, I love these. So these are like fake little wreaths, but look how nice they are. I actually think they're gonna look stunning in my house. I love the burgundy and the dark green. So like I mentioned, burgundy is the color that I'm going for. And so I found these ball balls that are literally so perfect. And these are all from B&Q. And then I also got this shape as well. But it's annoying because I really wish I could have like bigger and smaller versions of these, but I can't find them anywhere. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I kind of just want burgundy on my tree, but I feel like I need a lot of different size burgundy ball balls. And all of these trees and all of the inspo pictures that I found have all like been made by people that like basically do trees for a living and they pretty much customize and make all the ball balls themselves. So they are literally impossible to get hold of. But I thought these are so, so nice from being cute. And I think they were three pounds. It doesn't say, I'm pretty sure they were three pounds each. And then from HomeSense, what did I get? I got, oh, I love it. You know like when you forget what you bought and so it like excites you for the first time. I got this little house, which is so cute and it lights up. Um, I feel like you actually can't see it right now, but you go like this and it lights up. The kids will love this. I think it's gonna look really cute on the side. It's so annoying because there's so many things that I wanted from HomeSense, but it was all, it basically everything just would have been such a mix and match. Like I wanted to get um, big like nutcrackers and stuff, which I was adamant I was gonna get, but it's just really not gonna go with my theme. I think I'm gonna have to put the tree up. And once the tree's up and I've got the ball balls, then I can buy everything else. But yeah, I did get another little house because I thought all of these on the side is gonna look so cute. I'm just gonna put them on my windowsill. I think they're gonna look really nice. And then I managed to find these burgundy trees and burgundy and gold and gold. I mean, all like the finishing touches on my house, like my light switches, my door handles, they're all gold. So these go perfectly and they're so nice. And they literally are the exact color that everything else is. So yeah, literally can't get enough. Look at that, so perfect. So I got a couple of them. Oh my goodness, look at this candle that I got as well. How unreal is that candle? It's actually stunning. I can't even deal. And they did like little mini gold ones as well, which was so, so nice. And then look at the little mini gold one, the little ball ball. Oh my God, I love it. And then the final thing <laughs> that I got was this little sleigh. And I thought I'm gonna probably just fill it up with like the burgundy balls and maybe put like under the tree. I just kind of thought it would look cute. I was gonna get a couple of these, but again, it was one of those until I kind of like put the tree up. 
I don't actually fully know what I want. Putting up my Christmas tree vlog will be happening very, very soon and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, get yourself to HomeSense. B&Q have some really good stuff. And if anyone has any other recommendations where I can get anything burgundy this Christmas, please do let me know because it's basically proving to be such a struggle. And I think I've genuinely chosen the hardest color. Like red is easy to find, but burgundy is proving to be a nightmare. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Um, I have just been getting ready this morning. I got up so late, I didn't set an alarm and it was actually just the best thing ever because I actually can't remember the last time I didn't set an alarm. Like I always set an alarm. Even if I don't need to, I would just set an alarm. And I do really enjoy getting up early, but this morning was just so nice having a lay in. I can't even explain. So I've just got ready literally as quick as I can. I'm actually, oh God, I'm like falling over because I'm trying to balance here. I am actually about to have the cutest day ever and spending the day with my niece Harlow. And I can't even tell you how excited I am because I haven't spent like good quality time with her in the longest time. And I'm actually taking her to the Hello Kitty Cafe. So I literally just booked it. And yeah, basically, I would say I'm gonna surprise her. Technically yesterday I told her that we're going, but she doesn't really know what it is. She's never seen it, but it's a little, basically in Brighton, they, I don't even know when it came here. It's at least been here for a year now. Now. It might even be like a lot longer than that, but I think I realized it was here about a year ago. And ever since I've been saying how I really want to take Harlow there. Now I literally grew up with Hello Kitty. When I had all of my operations for my ears, I would take my Hello Kitty with me every single time. And my Hello Kitty is a little bit dirty, um, but it has all my hospital bands on it. And so I feel like Hello Kitty just has like a really special place in my heart. I love it so much. And I love the fact that Harlow loves Hello Kitty too. So I just thought it'd be really cute to take her. Um, yeah, spend the day with her. It'd be really nice the weather is looking good so far but it's well saying that the weather's changed literally like five times this morning already so i don't really know what to wear although i promised harlow i'd wear pink with her and i've been looking at my wardrobe and i'm like i actually don't have really anything pink like i have like corsets or like random dresses that are pink but like i don't really own t-shirts that are pink so i have absolutely no idea what i'm gonna wear um but yeah today's actually gonna be the cutest day i can't wait so i'm gonna go pick her up in a minute spend the day with her it's gonna be so nice that's that so right let's go let's go spend the day with Harlow. So we've just arrived. Harlow's chosen her teddy. She's chosen the biggest one in the store. So she's a girl after my own heart because that's exactly what I would do. Now she's looking at something else. Well, it can't be a teddy. But it can't be a teddy because she's got too many teddies. You want something for me? That's nice. Why don't you get a pencil case for school? No? <laughs> she just wants to get me a matching teddy. <laughs> Maybe I get the squishy. This is cute. That's I like these. Plus. They're so cute, aren't they? Oh my goodness, this is the cutest shop ever. But it's not just a shop, it is a cafe. And look, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Describe down the line what toy can we get? Huh? Describe down the line what Oh, toy. describe down below everyone what toy you think we should get. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so I totally messed up and put the table for the wrong day. So we can't eat in the cafe, but we did get ice cream, didn't we? And Harlow's got a blue tongue. <laughs> and then she also got a milkshake. But it tastes you're like gonna, hot it, chocolate. You're gonna pop. It does, like, I know it sounds really weird, but it actually tastes like a hot chocolate. It's so bizarre. But how cute is the car? I can't even deal. It's so cute, but you're going to explode after. Because where are we going after this? <laughs> yeah. So very, very, she's gonna be very, very full. <laughs> so we've come to Tiger, and I'm trying to get Anna and um, Libby some little stocking fillers because we're doing stockings for each other. And obviously Anna and I are doing our annual gift swap and Harlow actually chose these mugs out and I think they're perfect. They're gonna love them. And she's choosing all the cute stuff. You're helping me choose all the presents, aren't you? Very, very good at this. Oh my goodness, I love Tiger at this time of year. <laughs> Look at her, her little teddy, she's so cute. Also, I love this wrapping paper. Like the heart wrapping paper is so cute. Look, she's finding everything. Yeah? You think she'll like those? Oh my goodness, look at the Rudolph ones. The glittery ones. Who do you think will like them? Libby. Libby, I reckon she'll like them too. She loves pink and purple. She does, you're right. I don't think they might be her size. Yeah, I think they're a little bit too small, you know? Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> she is so cute. I can't even deal. Wait, I'm just going to look over here because I'm just going to look at the wrapping paper, okay? Okay. Look, how, did you see the heart wrapping paper? Yeah. Oh, and this one. Yeah, that's cute. I used to have that. Did you? I used to. Look at this with the candy canes. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> which, one? yeah, which one do we like more? The candy canes or the hearts? Because I like both. And Me I don't too. know which one I like more. Maybe I get both. Yeah. Oh, and look at this little box. 
This is cute to put the presents in. Yeah. So maybe, maybe I get the candy cane wrapping paper to go with it. Maybe the heart one. Oh, that's true. I could get the heart box. Pink sparkly one. So update everyone, Carlo and I. <laughs> They're my feet. Stop looking at my feet. We've come from Nando's, haven't we? What did you get? Chicken and chips and corn in the cob. Yeah. <laughs> Answer it for you. We went to Nando's, we went and got my mum a surprise that she's gonna love so much. So every year there's always a calendar that she wants, it's from Joe Malone. They always sell out, and I thought I was way too late to getting it this year, but they had one more left in the shop. So we're gonna surprise her later and give it to her, and I'm so excited. Harlow's very happy because she's got Hello Kitty sitting up to us. Also, Harlow doesn't stop playing with the sticky thing on the back of my phone, which is my favorite thing ever. You just get these from Amazon. Wait, let me show everybody. Let me show everyone what it is. They're literally like a couple of pounds and it, it sticks to glass. So this is how I do a lot of filming for my TikToks, basically. But it is annoying when you put it on a table because it does just stick every single time, like this. And look at my background, it's so cute. Okay, I'm fully aware that my Nando's looks insanely boring to a lot of people, but I actually love their broccoli so much. And then this is what Harlow got. We both got Peritoma because I think it actually is the best sauce to ever exist. Yummy, is it good? What do you think, out of 10? Give me a number. 10. <laughs> Okay. Is it 20? 20. <laughs> we got a little FaceTime <laughs> from, from Jed. I just go to the North Pole. <laughs> it looks like you're going to the North Pole. I'm going to Australia, I'm going to the other side of the world. <laughs> don't be, don't get eaten by sharks in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've done this all by yourself. So we've just got back to my parents' house and Harlow's just given me this Hello Kitty that she spent this morning dry, uh, drawing and I am so excited. And apparently I have to put it in a frame in my house, which I'm absolutely going to do. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I love it so much. I can't believe how like good the coloring is. It's amazing. I like the rainbow. I love the rainbow as well, yeah. Okay, so I've just got back to my mum's house. I'm gonna surprise her now with the advent calendar. Should we go get it for Nanny? Should we get it together? I've just told her. My, nan, my mum's had like a laser on her face, so she won't want to be on camera right now. But I'm going to show her the surprise, the present that we got her today. She's going to love it so much, isn't she? Right, when she comes back, we'll give it to her. Really? Mum, can you actually go by that chair and close your eyes? And you really wanted it. Because oh my goodness, it is something you really so want. <laughs> can you go stand by the chair, please? And when I say close your eyes, Mum, you actually have to close your eyes. Yeah. Actually close, they are actually that strong. Don't peek then. It's just me and the monster. Ready? Open! Open <laughs> it! Ah, open it! That's not what I expected. <laughs> Once again, you got the last one in the shop. No, that's not the calendar. <laughs> Me a year. All the things inside it. Safe to say that Nanny loved her present. This little one's woken up. Oh my god, Nanny really does. Nanny really does love her I present. Like, you liked it even more than I thought you would like it. Oh my god, because I was expecting a giant teddy bear. <laughs> no, I, I knew you thought that. That's why I was like, can you actually close your eyes? Because I knew you thought that. But anyways, I'm gonna quickly go watch the beginning of this. About to watch Lewis on the TV. Oh look at him. <laughs> Good evening everyone, I'm back from my parents' house. I had such a nice little day spent with Harlow. I haven't actually seen her in the longest time, so it's just really nice, well, like properly in the longest time, so it's really nice just to spend the day, me and her, and she just loves spending the day together. Honestly, I can't believe I messed up so badly at the Hello Kitty Cafe, so I thought I booked a table for today, but I actually booked it for tomorrow, which is just so typical me, and I tried to convince Lan to let us have a table, but he said that there isn't any spaces, and basically didn't have much luck convincing him. He was like, can you come back to tomorrow 
and I was like, not really. She's five years old and she has school. So yeah, annoyingly couldn't do that. But Harlow didn't mind. She got a teddy that she wanted and we still managed to get ice cream and have a little takeaway. And then we ended up obviously going to Nando's and we actually went to the arcade. I didn't film that as well. So yeah, it was a cute little day of Harlow. I mean, the second we even left Hello Kitty and we put the stuff in the car, straight away she said to me, she was like, can we do this again next year? So yeah, she definitely still had such a lovely time. Although we didn't even get to go in the cafe. So I definitely do want to actually go in the cafe and take her there soon because I know that she'd love it so much. And I'm just so annoyed. Like how did I book the wrong day? I don't know. <gasps> Oh God. I think it's just because I've just been so busy recently. I don't even know. But anyways, this evening, I'm actually going to sit and order um, Anastasia's present for our annual gift swap that's going to be happening very, very soon. And I said that I was actually leaving to go to Wales tonight, but I'm actually going to go tomorrow morning now. I just don't want to drive this late. So yeah, going to have a nice little chilled evening. Then I'm getting up early tomorrow and going on a very, very long drive. Oh, I actually don't enjoy... I love cars, but I don't enjoy driving. Well, for that, like length of time i just get bored very easily but yeah so i have a lot to do tonight i need to pack my suitcase i'm gonna buy all of anna's presents ordered that um next week actually anna and byron are staying at mine which i'm so excited for it's gonna be so fun and i'm gonna ask them if, they, if we can film some like christmas videos and stuff together as well I actually have really debated filming vlogmas i don't think i'm gonna film vlogmas i just don't honestly think it's gonna be possible but i am gonna film a lot in december i don't know if i'm gonna do a weekly vlog or do like like every three days i don't know but i'm definitely gonna film some like actual christmas related like christmas like proper videos rather than just vlogs like i used to this year all of the gift swaps i'm gonna get my family to do secret santa so there's a lot of videos that will be um out in december i did ask you guys on instagram and honestly like all the gift giving and the challenges and stuff are always the most requested but yeah any other videos you want to see from me then let me know down below of course i will film once i put up my tree as well which i'm so excited for yeah it's gonna be so cute so i actually can't wait but yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog i feel like i don't really know what i vlogged the past few days to be completely honest i've mainly really been at home but i hope you guys have enjoyed anyways i will be putting up my christmas tree next week so i'll be filming that and i can't wait so yeah hopefully i will see you guys then